Howdy there, true believers. Welcome back to New World Nerds. I'm Superman Nico, and in this video, we're going to talk about an alternate post credit scene for the very first post credit scene in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Fresh. At the Saturn Awards, Kevin Feige revealed an alternate version of the Iron Man post credit scene. You know, the one that changed the way we watch movies. And now we will give a moment of silence for all of the blatters that had to endure through all those credits for all those Easter eggs in every Marvel movie. That was beautiful. Before we get into the alternate post credit scene, we gotta get into the only segment we have on this Tuesday upload, Subscriber of the Week. Subscriber of the Week. <laughs> Subscriber of the Week. <laughs> Comment down below to get our next video. That one wasn't as good, I'm not gonna lie to you. They're not all winners. What you gotta do to become subscriber of the week, you gotta leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave an awesome comment down below so I can read it on next Tuesday's upload. The subscriber of the week for this video is Baker Die. Baker Die commented on the Avatar The Last Airbender test footage video, said, bruh, I literally can't wait. He's a brand new subscriber, so New World Nation, show him some love. Mike Ross and Gump's videos also get an honorable mention for their comments. They both mentioned very specific blood bending maneuvers. Ladies. <laughs> this alternate post credit scene for the very first Iron Man still had the same beats to it. Still had Nick Fury showing up in Tony Stark's Malibu house. As if gamma accidents, radioactive bug bites, and assorted mutants weren't enough. I have to deal with a spoiled brat who doesn't play well with others and wants to keep all his toys to himself. Who the hell are you? Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. What makes this scene so exciting is all the delicious Easter eggs in it. Nick Fury actually says assorted mutants, and not just that, he also says radioactive bug bites, hmm? Obviously referencing X-Men and Spider-Man. Honestly, this would have been way too much for my 13-year-old brain. My brain would have exploded, because Tobey Maguire was like my idol. I know this was already after Spider-Man 3, but if you were to tell me that Spider-Man was gonna show up and be side by side with Tony Stark, even if you said that today, if Tobey Maguire was gonna be like swinging next to Iron Man, uh, uh, honestly, I'm a little glad that this didn't happen because just the logistics of all this, all these different movie studios trying to get a deal done to get all these superheroes in one movie would have been insane. When I was 13 and I saw the first Iron Man movie, I had no idea what movie rights were. Like, I knew vaguely, but I had no idea that all these superheroes under the Marvel banner were under a bunch of different studios. Well, did I know that Marvel went bankrupt and sold all the rights to their heroes? So we didn't need this little nugget, but this is something that they're going to put on the Infinity Saga box set. And I'm just like, ah, oh, I already have most of these movies. Movies. Some of them I have more than once. I have like three Thor of the Dark Worlds. Comment down below if you want the code for one of those Thor of the Dark Worlds. So I'm probably not gonna buy the giant Infinity Saga. I bought them in phases. I can't buy 22 movies at once. I don't have the budget for that. I don't care what special features you put on there. Unless you put a feature where Robert Downey Jr. tells me personally that I'm his best friend, I ain't buying it. This actually reminds me of the time that Hugh Jackman's Wolverine was supposed to show up in the Raimi trilogy back in 2002. But the day that they were supposed to shoot the cameo, somebody stole Wolverine uniform which come to think of it it's just jeans and a muscle shirt so I'm pretty sure they could have made do I don't know, give them a coat does anybody have a cigar I think they could have figured it out but somebody stole on the day that they were supposed to shoot the cameo so they just scrapped the thing entirely Avia Rod was it you did you steal Hugh Jackman's costume you cunning little scamp get out of here go make another Venom movie don't I'm just I'm kidding don't please don't this is really cool and I'm curious to see what other kind of alternate versions of things the MCU will reveal. I would love to see an alternate version of the Avengers lineup at the end of Age of Ultron. There were rumors that Marvel left space for Captain Marvel and for the newly acquired Spider-Man. So I'd love to see some concept art of that. Let us know down in the comments what other secret gems you'd love Marvel to reveal. And I need the Edgar Wright cut for Ant-Man. Make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel pretty please. Follow us on Twitter at New World Nerds. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. Keep nerding out there, true believers. Pew, 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 pew. What time? What time is it? Okay. 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 Lamborghini. Mercy. Uh, blah, 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 blah.